Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. We've just test driven the 2024 Toyota Crown Platinum with the 2.4 liter turbocharged hybrid powertrain. So we've got it in the garage. We're gonna have a quick look under the hood, do an overview of all of the major technical features and a rundown of do-it-yourself maintenance service points. The 2023 and newer Toyota Crown was the first vehicle from the brand to showcase their all-new Hybrid Max powertrain option that takes horsepower and driving appeal up a few notches from the base hybrid powertrain offered in the sedan. The powertrain starts with Toyota's now-proven 2.4-liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine that features both port and direct fuel injection, a system Toyota calls D4S. The engine also has dual variable cam timing and an 11 to 1 compression ratio and by itself offers up to 264 horsepower and 332 pound-feet of torque. What really sets this apart is that it comes mated to a conventional 6-speed automatic transmission instead of an ECVT like other Toyota hybrids. There's an 81 horsepower electric motor sandwiched between the engine and the transmission and an additional 78 horsepower motor drive unit at the rear axle for all-wheel drive. Therefore, you'll not find a mechanical drive shaft between the front and rear power units. A 230 volt nickel metal hydride battery pack is located under the rear seat. The total combined system output is 340 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque, which provides spirited performance and a traditional driving experience with the feel of a real transmission that's shifting gears. Yay! Efficiency is rated by the EPA at 29 MPG City, 32 MPG Highway, and 30 mpg combined and it runs on 87 octane regular fuel. Following the airflow the intake charge starts at the front passenger side of the engine bay drawn in through a snorkel and a resonator chamber then into the air filter box low at the front. From there it travels past a mass airflow sensor into the rear of the engine into the turbocharger. Once boosted the air then travels up over the engine to the front where it's cooled by an air to water intercooler and then into the engine through a composite plastic intake manifold. Atop the engine, you can see components of both the port and the direct fuel injection. A fuel rail for the port fuel injectors is seen somewhat under the components at the front. The large shiny aluminum fuel rail on top along the spark plug coil packs is for the direct injectors. Once a combustion takes place, the air exits through the turbocharger, which features an electronically controlled wastegate, and then directly into the catalyst assembly. Do-it-yourself maintenance on the Crown Hybrid Max is as straightforward as any modern car with only a couple exceptions. The majority of its fluid can be found at the passenger side with the engine coolant at the furthermost outboard location. Turbocharger intercooler coolant is just to its right. Ahead of both is the windshield washer fluid. The engine oil filler cap is at the top passenger side of the engine and can be accessed without removing the sound cover. The oil dipstick is found at the front of the engine, noted by its bright yellow handle. To get to the oil filter, you do have to get underneath its access from below. The brake fluid reservoir can be found at the driver's side near the strut tower. As with all fluids, you should always consult your owner's manual for the type, the grade, and the amounts you'll need. Just ahead of the brake fluid reservoir is the engine computer and to its right, the main fuse box. It opens easily with a pop of a clip and inside, you'll find an included fuse removal tool to make it easier. The air filter is located down low on the driver's side ahead of most of these components and can be easily replaced by just about anyone by popping a couple of clips. No tools are required. I always say don't spend that $100 plus at the dealership. It's a ripoff. Of note though, the electric cooling fan is mounted at the back side of the radiator nearby and should be treated with respect as it can turn on any time if the engine is warm and has been running, even if the engine's turned off. Also, be careful working in or around the orange wiring harness. It connects the hybrid battery to the electric motor and control components and handles some 230 volts. Nothing to play with. Well, there it is, my friends, an underhood tour with an overview of all of the major technicals of the 2024 Toyota Crown 2023 similar. And of course, this one with the Hybrid Max powertrain. This is an engine and transmission and system that you're going to be seeing in a lot of upcoming Toyotas. The Toyota Crown Signia, which is the SUV, the Grand Highlander, and of course, other models coming down the road. So it's going to be a very popular powertrain, to say the least. So we'll be talking about it a lot. But if you want to learn more about the Toyota Crown and what it's like, 
with this powertrain. We have a test drive right there. If you like this nuts and bolts stuff, you can also subscribe to TDTV Garage right there. Either way, stay tuned.